Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Straight off the bat, I find a crimson. That's not good. Run away quick. Oh, God. Oh, crap. There is a crimson now going to be outside where I save. That's not a good sign. Okay. It's never good. So I was saying, yes, this game's hold up very well. Obviously, the textures have been updated a little bit. And they've changed a few things to make it more better looking in the HD, well, the next gen version. But overall, it's pretty much the same game that I remember from the GameCube. Yes. As I was coming back um, to the save point after the second recording, I actually had stumbled across this lighter, but I thought I'd pick it up during the playthrough. Since I was so. <laughs> you guys don't think, huh? Now you suddenly have a magical lighter. Where did that come from? So, um, I can't actually remember where the lighter is used. It's in that dark area, which was. Oh, I remember now. It's next to. Okay, next to where the snake was. I mean, the guy was with the snake. Right. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, what is this um, remaster called? Is because the original was called Resident Evil Remake with like the capital R E for Resident Evil, and this is a remaster of that remake. So would it just be called remaster, like everything else nowadays, or would it just be called Resident Evil Remake or remake or remake remaster or something like that? The hell. So yeah, that's the only thing I'm confused by this. I'm still going to refer it to as a Resident Evil remake because I like that name. I'm not too sure I like the idea of things being called remasters. But, you know, each everyone has their own preference. I take I've got to use it on that candle. Yep, lovely. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> I did not expect someone to come in. Uh, I wonder what that noise was. Where are you? There you are. Okay. Right now is. Ah, awesome! I needed that. Oh, he got up very quickly. Anything else around here? Zombie. Oh! Wrestling with the controls. Quickly! That's outside the door. <laughs> oh god, this game's pretty good. Right. I think I might go back and drop the. put the mask in. God, that guy in the corner. I wonder what that was then. Yeah, I might go drop the mask off in the corner. Not in the corner, sorry. Put the, drop the mask off where the mask needs, needs to go to get that item slot. And... Sorry. Getting a bit distracted. What have I got? Oh, I need to get the other bit, don't I? I don't necessarily... Oh, God, if I go back there, that guy... Oh, I've got to say, there's going to be crimsons everywhere I go now. I don't exactly want to go back to where the crimson is. So I thought maybe if I go to the other save point where I can get the chest to get the book, which, yeah, actually, I might go there. Ones have I got? Mask without eyes, mouth, or uh, or nose. Which is just that one, isn't it? There you go. Oh crap! I just realised. I have to fight that thing, don't I? When I get all of them. Oh god! This game does have a like a looming dread 
Like, for, I'm like, I don't want to fight the Crimsons because they're fast and they're strong and they take ages to kill. Obviously, I've got a shotgun, which I should use against it. But I kind of want to save... I don't know why I want to save that gun if I'm not... If I've got it in my inventory, but I kind of want to save it as a last resort. And then you've got that thing, which i got to fight. Then you've got another thing that I know that's coming up later on. Then you've got the dogs. God, this game's got loads of stuff. I'm just like, oh. But the others, like the normal zombies, are fine. If they grab you, they grab you. But they move slowly, so you can just, like, taunt them. They try to grab you. You move away, you run past them. Uh, with the crimsons, like, oh, yep, see, ah, like that. You could have, I could have, like, ran away from that guy and then just ran past. But obviously, I didn't realize he was going to be there exactly. Well, with a crimson. They run at you anyway, so you're kind of screwed. And they don't normally grab you, they normally swipe at you. Oh, okay. They really wanted to grab me, I didn't realise that. Okay. See, that I should really burn that guy because I imagine he's going to come up turn into a crimson soon and then I'm going to have crimsons outside two of the places I bloody saved which wouldn't be a good thing alright so if I to be honest I'm not going to use that for now I'm going to get one of those right combine awesome Gonna go burn that zombie. And then it's out the way. Oh, nice. <laughs> yep. Don't stand in front of that. Because you get hurt. I don't think I need that anymore, or do I? Actually, I'll keep, I'll keep the lighter, just because I think there's an area where I can use it. Whereabouts is that area? It's not upstairs, is it? Where's your zombie? Where are you? Yep, you're there. <laughs> that zombie it's funny out there I just know it's going to smash through you can tell it's just it, it's, it's there for a reason nope oh I know where there is where I probably have to use the lighter it's next to where the bloody crimson guy is the end of the hallway there great which means I'm going to have to eventually go back there I'm still wondering what do I need this key for? So I've still got the armor key. What route, what areas am I missing then? Wait a second. Did I kill him? Oh, for Christ's sake. Ah. <sighs> God's sake. I like the impl um I like the fact that they introduced this when they made the remake because Oh, dear. It's like the zombies are never dead. Fully dead. Not just the master of unlocking, but the master of piano. Jill Valentine, everybody. Give her a round of applause. She's so amazing, the shadow on her arm is glitching out. Hmm. Oh, okay. 
11 days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a mess... Uh, a me... Oh, God. A me... Uh, I can't pronounce that word. <laughs> Plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when I... That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There are, there are only two people that know the secret of this estate. Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows this secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family, I hope they are all right. I've decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you are safe. November 26. How could I be so careless? I lost my favourite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November 9, uh, 13th. The date where my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalised just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said that they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait, even as I'm writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the man in the lab coat said something like, Most likely your family is all right. I pray for their safety. November 27th. Somehow I managed to get out of that room. But getting out of this mansion won't be as easy. I have to get past all the booby traps, tiger eyes, gold emblems. I have to try and remember for my own sake. That seems new. Not to this edition, to the... Oh, ah, okay. Okay, I know. I need to swap it out. Uh, not to this edition, just to the... Um, well, to the remake edition. I don't know if that was in the original PlayStation 1 game, because Lisa is one of the characters that you meet later on. Well, I say characters. I say Nightmare that you kind of don't want to meet. You kind of like go, oh, hey Lisa, <laughs> go away from me. Kind of that kind of person, you know. Oh shit. Yeah, okay. No, my name's not Laura. My name's Jill. <laughs> Valentine. Which is a weird last name. But then Redfield, Chris Redfield. That's also a weird last name. Even though I'm gonna collect this emblem, Actually, no, don't worry. I was going to say, I don't know whether, where would I would put the gold emblem, but then I realised maybe I put it above this fireplace. That seems the most logical place to put it. Where are you? Where are you? Ah! You're there. Oh, cheeky. Got to take me out to dinner first. <laughs> right. Golden emblem. Yay. Right, I just want to look at this emblem. It's graved all around the outer edges due to the frequent fitting. Okay. Hmm, looks quite nice though. Not sure why you'd want a golden thing like that, but you know, I ain't rich, so I don't know what rich people spend their money on. If I was rich, I'd probably spend my money on, well, I don't know. <laughs> you call yourself a crimson? <laughs> I'm a valentine. Oh, yeah. So far, this is probably the least intimidating crimson I've come across so far. <laughs> Oh. Not compared to the last one, anyway. Ah, oh, okay. 